Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel. We have a question to solve on the board, a question on trigonometry. So we have that given sine A to be equal to sine A cos B minus cos B cos A sine B. We are asked to evaluate or find the value of sine 15. So we are going to expand sine 15 using this identity so that we can simplify it. All right. So we have a sine um, 15 to be equal to instead of writing sine 15 again we can write sine 45 minus 30 so let's distribute now sine 15 has been um splitted into 45 minus 30 so we'll be having sine 45 minus 30 to distribute it over this identity this is our A and this is our B, right? So we're going to be having sine 45 cos 30 minus cos 45 sine 30. All right. So I've distributed 45 and 30 to A's, A and B in this expression. So the next thing we do is to simplify. We are going to be adopting the trigonometric identities of the special angles, right? right? So here we have sine 45. What is the trigonometric identity of sine 45? That is 1 over square root of 2 times. What is trigonometric identity of cos 30? Trig identity of cos 30 is root 3 over 2. So what it means is that you must know the trigonometric identities so that you'll be able to solve questions like this. Minus cos 45, trig identity of cos 5 is still 1 over root 2 times sine 30 is 1 over 2. So let's simplify the sort. We multiply 1 times root 3 is root 3. Root 2 times 2 will give us 2 root 2. Minus 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times root 2, that is 2 root 2. I mean, yeah, 2 times root 2 give us 2 root 2. Then let's simplify further. You discover that the denominator has equal value. Here is 2 root 2, 2 root 2. So we are simply going to subtract the numerator 3 minus 1 over 2 root 2. Take one of the common denominators, that is this. So let's simplify further by rationalizing. We are going to be using 2 root 2 to multiply the numerator and denominator, right? So we say times 2 root 2 over 2 root 2. Or we can equally use just root 2 because 2 can divide 2 here, right? So let's multiply. Root 2 times root 3, that will give us root 6. Then root 2 times negative 1 will give us negative root 2. Over here. Bring down 2 first times, let me use dots as my times. Root 2 times root 2 will give you 2. I hope you know the reason. Because root 2 times root 2 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. Then we simplify for that. This will give us square root of 6 minus square root of 2 over 4. And that becomes our solution. Thank you so much for watching. Please do well to like this video, share to your friends, follow for more interesting tutorials. Bye.